Okay, we are off. Today is day 96 of the year of streaming and learning to code. We are finally in the last section of jQuery. We are starting at 80% of the way through. And I believe we're going into section 5. No, little cat, stay, stay, hey, psst, no, love you, love you, go, 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 yeah, go lay next to her, chew, you're a cat, hey, just be happy over there, oh my god, you're gonna come over, fine, don't you, just, don't scratch your face on the mic. Don't knock over the webcam. Go, go lay over with her. There you go, little cat. Okay, so we are continuing on with section five. Now, little cat, you're scrolling. Oh, tiny one. There you go. Continuing on with section five, jQuery effects. Yesterday, we finished section four, jQuery events. And now we are diving into effects. Let's see what they have for us. Okay, there are 12 or 14 sections. They've got 14 sections for us. That's not terrible. That's a lot better than 30. Tiny cat, tiny cat does whatever a tiny cat does. All right, from the top, you know this. You already know a lot about jQuery effects. So let's try a training wheels free exercise. You can do this, we believe in you. Write the necessary jQuery code to hide your div as soon as the HTML document is ready. Stuck at a hint. Write the necessary jQuery code to hide your div. Oh, that's just document.ready and then div hide. That's that's what that'll be. And you know what? Before we go much further, let's back up just a little. We'll turn on the fan. Tiny cat. So graceful. So graceful. All right. There we go. Little one. You heading down? There you go. Good, good. You're in my lap. You've got little kitty. Just... There you go. Look at that. So much better. God, her nails. Straight into my shin. She is awful. Terribly cute. Terribly deadly. Do, 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 do. Okay, so they just wanted us to do document ready. Document dot dollar. Document dot ready. <clears throat> dollar div dot high. At least that's what I'm feeling. So let's do this. <clears throat> From the top dollar document dot ready and my one function empty parentheses curly braces <laughs> all right do 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 divs in the code or in the quotes, my bad. Uh, dot hide. 
Let's see how they feel about that. Since mint green check mark full. One of fourteen damn. Nice. More practice with dot animate. <clears throat> Let's get in a little more practice with the dot animate effect. That's the one with the slightly more complicated input. If we wanted to move a div 10 pixels down, we need to type something like div animate dot uh, animate top plus equals 10 pixels 500. Where the bit curly, where the bit between curly braces says, hey, jQuery, add 10 pixels to the current top margin. And the second input says, do it in 500 milliseconds, 1000 milliseconds equals one second. Cool, cool, cool. <clears throat> Instructions going down. Let's begin. Let's begin, begin by double beginning. Let's begin, begin by targeting our image inside blah. Then let's animate our image to go down by 100 pixels, let's make it happen in one second or 1,000 milliseconds. Hint, yeah, plenty of, plenty of fun stuff, and uh, good. So we're just, we're doing things. Look at that, they already have a skeleton for us. The general outline. Document already function, curly braces, fill in the blanks. So I want to say this would just be image. Animate top minus equals. I don't know if it would be minus. Honestly, I wouldn't it be plus ten? Is it going down or up? Going down? Question. Animate, yeah, animate it by going down 100 pixels. So that's top negative. No, that's top plus. Plus 100 pixels in 1,000 milliseconds. I don't know what the red is for. Unmatched. Hmm. That just seems odd. Because the thing that's confusing is the fact that there's only two sets of curly braces to begin with. There's the function to here, and then there's the animate. And I, I'm really not sure why there's a, uh, why there is beef. That is so odd. I wonder what I'm missing. We're gonna hit save and submit, see what happens. Click. Now, back to editor, didn't move 100 pixels in one second. Did you add 10 pixels to the top? Yes, I did. You know what it is? <clears throat> It's this, it's the curly brace, it's in the wrong spot. That's just supposed to be a thousand milliseconds. Why would they provide us with the skeleton, the outline, and have it in the wrong format? Either do it correctly or don't do it at all, or indicate that it's wrong, like... that? I know malicious is overly 
Mm, harsh. But, like, that's kind of... I don't know. Purposefully cunning, if you will. I don't really see this. I know it's beneficial to figure it out, but at least, I don't know. Heads up, trial session. There's a difference between, like, quizzing and testing versus tricking. That felt closer to tricking, you know? Maybe that's just me. Could just be me. Oh, look at that. It moves. Beautiful. Three check mark. Two of 14 down. Oh, hey, little cat. That is your tail. That is your tail. Introducing jQuery UI. All right. Time to blaze new jQuery trails with the new jQuery library, jQuery UI. <clears throat> jQuery UI indicates a number of ultra-fancy animations you can use to make your websites do incredible things. For instance, remember when we lamented that jQuery didn't include a dot blow up effect for Planet Krypton? Well, that's still true, but jQuery UI has an effect, effect, ah, has a dot effect effect, and we're totally going to give it the input explode. Now that we've included an extra script tag in our HTML documents, this is used to include jQuery UI in our web pages. We don't have to do this with regular jQuery since Code Academy automatically includes it for us. Instructions. <clears throat> that's kind of low, right? Isn't that a little low? Let's open the hint. There we go. That's better. In the script.js tab, your document.ready and pass in a dot click event handler on your div inside that call dot effect on your div give it the input explode head over to the results tab click on krypton and watch it explode your code should look something like this document dot ready element dot event this dot effect explode where element is your div and event is dot click very nice And that's basically it. We've got dollar <clears throat> document ready parentheses ooh toughy semicolon function curly braces. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold the phone. Function, parentheses, curly braces. Um, and they want a dollar. Div was it? Div. Dot click. Function yet again. Parentheses. Curly braces. Followed by this. Something. Nope, no dot. Here's the dot outside. This dot effect. And it was called. Explode. And they said click on Kryptonite. Boom. In your face, Kryptonite. Deal with it. Next lesson. Four of fourteen. So far so good. We'll we'll keep our, our hopes in check. We won't get too cocky. Alright. Usually there's Small cities on fire at this point. The stream is falling apart, but we're still alive. Good, good change of pace. Dot bounce. Cool, right? But we can do so much more than just blow things up. Another possible effect is bounce. 
we can give this an input to dot effect just like explode, but we add an extra input to tell it how many times to bounce. The code will make our target div bounce twice in 200 milliseconds. Huh. That's really quick, right? Two bounces in a fifth of a second? That's fairly quick, right? Seems fast, at least to me. We've got div dot effect bounce comma curly braces times two two hundred milliseconds. Also, don't forget the second comma as well. Instructions change or explode to a bounce and make it so Krypton bounces three times in five hundred milliseconds when you click on it. Bounce. Uh, curly braces. Yatta dee dee Times. Colon. Brace. Colon. 500, they said. And submit code. Click. Ah, it did bounce. Oh, so interesting. Okay, dot slide. We can also make Krypton dot slide into view. Not surprisingly, we do this by calling the dot effect and passing in slide as an input. If you want to see everything jQuery UI can do, check out the documentation here. And we will. jQueryUI.com instructions. Go ahead and change your bounce to a slide and remove the other two inputs. jQuery. UI, draggable, droppable, resizable, selectable, sortable widgets, sorting in, date picker, spinners, switch, utilities. Cool, cool, awesome, all kinds of fun stuff. I wonder if that's jQuery, jQuery UI, jQuery mobile, sizzle. And Q unit. Unit? We'll never know. Close. Uh, we are destroying all of this and replacing it with slide. Is it dot slide or just slide? Just slide. Slitty. That's right. Save and submit. Not the prettiest of slides, but we'll we'll take it. We will take it. Section six of fourteen special effects. The dot effect effect has all kinds of magical goodness in it, but it's not the most amazing thing jQuery UI can do. The library has a number of built-in effects that can make your website look sleek and professional with surprisingly little code. You can learn more in the jQuery UI documentation. Instructions. Check out the code in script.js, then click Save and Submit. Head on over to the Result tab to see what jQuery UI can do for you. Be sure to click each accordion section. So we've got all of our HTML and fun stuff going on there. jQuery jQuery UI, JavaScript, one, two, and three. And we've got this, dot ready, menu, accordion, collapsible, true, active, false. Let's give this a shot, save and submit. Oh, we'll click on it. Ta-da, jQuery. jQuery is a JavaScript library that makes your websites look absolutely stunning jQuery UI includes even more jQuery goodness and JavaScript. JavaScript is a programming language used in web browsers and it's what powers jQuery and jQuery UI. You can learn about JavaScript in the JavaScript track here on Code Academy. Beautiful, beautiful. Next lesson. 7 of 14 teen. Drag racing jQuery UI includes dot draggable function that can make any HTML element draggable. You can click on it 
and move it anywhere on the page. We thought it might be tired of div blocks. Uh, we thought you might be tired. Me, Steven, Planet Earth, and anyone accidentally watching. We thought you might be tired of div blocks, so we made you a CSS car. <laughs> we worked super hard on it. Clearly, it's magnificent. All right. Instructions. Call the dot draggable function on your car ID. Click save and submit code, then go to the results tab and drag your car around the page. File sheet. Scripty McScripter 10. Good, good, good. Let's let's do this. I'm a doc doc ready, right? Uh dollar. Document dot ready. Do 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 oh, trigger happy. Singing along. Function Solus parentheses, curly braces, boom, do a dollar, dollar, dollar. No one really knows. No one really knows. We do it on the div. No, we're doing it on car. On said car. Dot. Draggable. Do 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 do. Save and submit. Start next lesson. Ha ha! Vroom vroom, bitches. What? 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 Wow. He'll climb from the bottom. This is spectacular. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. Okay, okay. We we could easily do this for another like six hours straight. We're not going to. Continuing on, but we will set the car. Oh god, we lost the car. That's okay. It's a sign. The car blew up. The car was missing in action. Drove off course. Next lesson. The only way we were going to move on ever. Alright. Session 8 of 14. <laughs> One resize fits all. You didn't love our mega sweet car? We slaved over that for months. Back to regular divs for you now. Just kidding, that little guy took us decades of hard work. <laughs> That's good, good. They got jokes. Instructions. Call the dot resizable function on your div. Click save and submit code, then go to the results tab and resize your div to your heart's content. So, we're going here and we're resizing our div. Dala. Document. Document. Do 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 Okay, okay, ready. Something or other. No, no, getting ahead of ourselves. Function. Do 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 do. Uh, div right dollar div. Div something div resizable. We're not gonna type that. Okay. Do 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 Wow, why is it this thing is growing on us? Save and submit. Green check mark, but re size me full screen. Is it 
not I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to to do to resize it. Maybe that's maybe that's just exactly it. Is it just change sizes? Yeah, I I guess it maximizes its potential, optimizes itself. That's as interesting as that's ever going to get. So start next lesson. We are now on to 9 of 14, a greater selection. Images and divs aren't the only elements we can target with jQuery UI. We can also enhance our ordered and unordered lists. Check out the HTML in index.html. We've set up a pretty nifty ordered list, but when it shows up in the result tab, it's a little bland. With jQuery UI, we can fix that. Instructions. In the script.js tab, get your document dot ready. Call the selectable, the dot selectable function on your ordered list. Click save and submit code. Then click on the list items in your ordered list in the results tab to see how much sleeker it looks. All right. Challenge accepted. Time to get ordered all over this list. Yeah, yeah, okay. Document, and we hella ready. Ooh, I love Link's Awakening. Oh, and Pokemon Red, and, and Blue. Burger Time? Like, yeah. Tetris, Super Mario Bros, and Kirby Stream. This is, this is a pretty, this is a hefty list they got going on. That is all kinds of fun. Document, no, 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 that there was a U. Okay, and their document. Sound it out, Stephen. Use those big boy letters. Document dot ready. Am I colon function? Do 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 Selectable? Yeah. Selectable. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So let's just pretend everything is gonna work out the best here. Oh. Oh cat, did you see that? When I select it, it changes colors. How cool is that? Okay, we're gonna leave it on on Link's Awakening because we can. Next lesson. Ten. All right, let's sort things out. Lists are great, and jQuery UI makes them greater. While selecting is cool, doesn't necessarily make our list as dynamic as we'd like. What if we want to reorder the elements in our list? Enter the dot sortable function. Enter script.js tab. Replace your dot selectable with the dot sortable. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Click save and submit. Oh no. <laughs> Sneezing. Oh, that was close. That was close. We almost lost the arm. Okay. Little cat somehow managed to sleep through that. Which is good. Psst. Hey. Oh, okay. Poking her woke her up. Look at this. Look at this. Can we, do we see this? This is, this is a cat tail. This is a cat tail. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that is uh, tiny bits of cat. Tiny bits of cat. Do, 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 Okay. Don't worry. Focusing, focusing back on code. Little kitty will get plenty of attention later. In the meantime, we are doing sortable things. Currently, we can select stuff, which is super duper awesome, but now, now we're going to be able to sort things. Mainly because they told us to. Paste. Sortable. So, clicking, oh, let's save and submit. 
uh, maybe drag. Aha! Look at this. So, Link's Awakening to the top, obviously. Duh. Um, then... You know, I want to do Pokemon at the top. Not at the top, but second. But Tetris. Tetris is pretty bitchin'. That is a tough, tough call. Tough call. We'll do red and blue. Who doesn't love burger time, right? Is it wrong to give Kirby last? I feel like that's that's a common thing. Maybe, you know what? Mario's on a pedestal, right? Let's do that. Mario can just deal with it at the bottom. Tetris is awesome. Tetris a good midpoint. I think this is a good this is a good breaker. We've got above Tetris and and below Tetris, which is important. I'm happy with that list. Although Pokemon Red and Blue, that that's that's, you know, kind of two sides of the same coin, so moving on a win of 14. We are getting close to the end of conquering jQuery here on Code Academy. jQuery UI. Is there anything you can't do? All right, time to use jQuery UI to create that awesome looking accordion style drop down menu we saw in the last section. For this, we'll be using. Don't they mean at the beginning of this section? Pretty sure that's what they're talking about. For this, we'll be using jQuery UI's built-in accordion function. Handy? No? Yeah. First, however, we'll need some additional HTML elements. Instructions. We got you started in the index.html tab. Okay. Here. Good. Oh, look at that. Add two more things. We'll continue with the instructions. We're jumping ahead. Bad, Steven. Bad. <clears throat> we got you started in the index.html tab. But a menu's no good with only one selection. They should go inside the hashtag menu div, but after the section one div. So we've got our menu ID div and should go after the section one. So we should have two more sections or two more divs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do they want two more sections, as in two more H3s? Yeah, they do. They want this nightmare. But why do they just have the div after H3? I'm the first section. This is their stupid, terrible coding. Not terrible, uh, terrible instructions. Uh, this is like a crappy murder mystery dinner, and I'm left to figure out what they actually want. Bastards. All right, that's okay. That's okay. The new section's coming in just a few more months. Happy thoughts, Steven. <sighs> I can feel the heart attack happening. <clears throat> that's all right. Um, did we just copy and paste this? You know what? That's the closing div. They do want an H3 section, and that's going to be section 2. Deal with it, Code Academy. Section blah, section blah. We're going to do 3 and 2. I'm the first, I'm the second, second, and third. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, there we go. Mystery solved. Should we do a fourth one? Add two more sections below. We're just going to leave it with two. Just leaving it with two. Save and submit. That's good. 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 Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did we have to do the dot accordion? Maybe that's coming in the future. That's coming in the future. Next lesson. <clears throat> At the ready. Perfect. Now we need, uh, now we'll add the necessary jQuery magic to script.js. You know this part by heart. Get your document dot ready. That's all we're doing for now. Dollar document document dot ready dot ready. Da -na, 
Da-na-na. Does whatever. Spider pig does. Here comes spider pig. <clears throat> Demon cement. Green check mark. 13 of 14. We are on the edge of victory. <clears throat> Break out your dot accordion. Perfect. Now all we need to do is call dot accordion on our menu ID. Instructions. Menu ID or class. Ooh, such ID. I was right. Class is period. ID is the pound or hashtag. Whatever your preference. Whatever your preference. Uh, break out your dot accordion. Perfect. Now all we need to do is call our dot accordion on our menu ID. Go ahead and call dot accordion on your menu ID. Click save and submit code to see your menu come to life. I live. Function. So forth and such and such. Dollar. Uh, oh, that's totally forgot the shift key. Um, and menu. Yes, yes, good, good. Dot accordion. I do not use that word enough in my day to day life. I just I'm not hanging out on the r slash accordion subreddit enough on on reddit but you know i guess i guess that's my loss right according hey and it did it it changed so quickly look at it normal plain stupid list right also known as a muggle list versus boom wizard list look at that beautiful beautiful dance list dance or menu technically D -d 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 -d. Nice, nice. Okay, so there's that section. Un, dos, tre. Beautiful. Save and submit code. And friggin' tastic. Section 14 teen. Victory. Damn it. Victory. <laughs> you did it. Doesn't that look great? Honestly, it does. Not gonna lie. Usually, my code feels. Mostly, oh, uh, what's a good word? Icky, maybe. I want to. Terrible is usually my go-to one, but uh, anywho, with the jQuery projects you've mastered over the last several courses, you're now prepared to make a truly impressive interactive website. And when you make it, we'd love to see it. Instructions: Click save and submit your code to complete this course. You finish your jQuery apprenticeship. But your journey's only begun. Share any cool websites you make with us via Twitter. Code Academy will retweet our favorites. Dun, 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 dun. Save and submit code. We did it. One more click through because we can. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Huzzah. Save and submit. We conquered it. jQuery effects in the bag. Close. Next. Day 96. We eliminated jQuery. So that means we get to start a new session tomorrow, which will be catalog. What do we have on horizon for day 97? Tomorrow we get to finally dive into React. They've got a part one and part two, then Angular, and then comes the food storm. Making progress, making progress. Ninety-six days. Not not bad if I if I must say myself. Alright, jQuery has been conquered. Let's take a look at where we stand. As day 96 concludes, currently we've got 1,109 points, and it loads 153 badges, 11 courses completed, way cool.
HTML and CSS part one. Learn JavaScript, SAS, make website, learn the command line, learn Git, deploy website, Python, HTML, and CSS, JavaScript, and now jQuery completed one minute ago. Spectacular. Spec freaking tacular. All right. We are closing down the stream. Thank you to any and all who may have stopped by. Greatly appreciated. Do 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 do. Where is OBS? There you are. And now we get to close out, stopping the stream. Are you sure you want to stop the stream? Hell yeah. Kill it.